this sign has never spoken to me the way it did this time. I've always seen this sign, no parking, no waiting, no loitering, keep moving. But this day when I saw it, it was different. It was not just like any other day that is just meant for a traffic rule or a traffic sign, but it was as if God opened my eyes and it dropped it in my heart that this is about life. Because there are so many times that we get to park in prohibited areas in our lives that God is saying to you in these particular areas that are prohibited, no parking, keep moving. Because you've parked in depression, you've parked in anxiety, you've parked in places that you are giving up in life. Now, I had to do a research just to get a clearer understanding of what no parking really stands for. And it says that it is a traffic sign that indicates areas that are prohibited for parking, which is these areas are restricted for people to park. And then I realized that so as it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual, so it is in our life, in our soul. There are places that we are restricted to park in. We are not supposed to park in our pain. We are not supposed to park in our heart. We are not supposed to park in the heartbreak we get to feel. Because the moment you get to park there, this heavy weight of darkness can now get to you. And scripture says, for the spirit of heaviness, get a garment of praise. In the natural, whenever there is a sign of no parking, there is a consequence when you break that rule. There is a fine to pay and there are penalties to pay if you break that rule. And so it is in the spiritual. If you get to park in prohibited areas, and what are these areas according to the word of God? Depression is a place that God doesn't want you to park in. Anxiety is a place that God doesn't want you to park in. That is why Jesus said to the disciples, why are you worried? Can your worry add even a little bit to your status? Can it make you taller than you are? Can you by worrying change the thing you are hoping to see change? By worrying, you can't change anything. But what do you get to do? By worrying, you worsen the situation. By worrying, you get to carry a heavy weight on yourself that stops you from running the race of life, of, from moving forward. Instead, you want to give up on life. And God is saying, do not pack. No packing in depression. No packing in anxiety or worry. Do you want to talk about bitterness? He says, no packing in bitterness. All the grumbling and the complaining, you don't have to pack well. Keep moving. Yeah, people have done things to you that has really made you bitter in your heart, that has made you embrace hate, that you really want to hate them. But even Jesus said, love your enemy, which is some of the hardest things to say to someone. Oh, I should love my enemy. Do you know what the enemy did to me? And he says, no, it's not about what the enemy did to you. It is about what that hate will do to you. Because what the enemy did to you was just to get you to be distracted, to take that detour, to start hating. Because the devil knows that by the time you embrace hate and pack in hatred, it is only aimed at destroying you and your personhood and your heart, contaminating you, corrupting your heart. And God says, no. Every time that God tells us, do not get to this place, do not stay angry. In, the Bible says, be angry, but do not sin. It didn't say stop being angry or never get angry or be in a place that if you are angry, you start feeling guilty. No, it says be angry, but do not sin, which is it is natural to be angry. You getting angry, so to say, actually helps you to put boundaries in place. Because if you are a person that says I never get angry, you may not have any boundary or standard or value system at all. But when you know that there is a boundary, the only thing God tells you is do not have anger issues. The result is that when you pack in your anger, you now become an arrogant person. Anger, pride, arrogance, they all work like brothers and sisters and cousins. Instead, pack in patience. Embrace patience. Embrace the fruit of the Spirit. Embrace love. Embrace joy. Embrace kindness. And these are things that you need to know there are prohibited areas to pack in your soul, in your spirit. Because these areas, by the time you pack, the fine are too costly that you will not even want to pay 
or you may not even be able to pay because it might cost you important things in your life or your life so to say because when you are given to anger you will get to do things that you will regret when we look at the scriptures like it said in psalm 23 verse 4 is yes, though i walk through the deep sunless valley of the shadow of death i will fear or dread no evil for you are with me your rod to protect and your staff to guide they comfort me david here was saying i'm not going to park in the valley i am walking through so this is to let you know whatever thing you are facing in life the heartbreak the heartache the toxicity that you've experienced you are not to park in your toxicity or the toxicity around you you're not to park in the place of negativity start telling yourself when you see these signs around you no parking when you see negativity around you no parking keep moving when you see toxicity around you no parking keep moving you can apply this even in relationships when you are coming up and you are seeing these signs the red flags this is a narcissist you are dealing with a narcissist you don't have to remain there no parking keep moving get out of that relationship get out of that place don't be too insecure that you want to pack in your insecurity and accept anything that comes along the way do i walk through the deep valleys do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death not do i pack in the valley of the shadow of death no and he said even as i'm walking through fear will come i will not bank on my fear i will not pack in fear i will not pack in dread i will fear no evil and why is this possible for me not to fear any evil because god is with me i need you to be reminded that god did not tell you that the weapons will not be formed god did not tell you that people will not hate on you god did not tell you that people will not dislike you god did not tell you that you will not have enemies or you will not be fought even when you are doing what is right but all he said is that the weapon will be formed which means hey if you understand this it is customized for you it knows your address it knows you from your dna it is even from your family root it knows what bothered your parents it knows if your parents struggled with masturbation with pornography and all sort of issues that was in the bloodline it knows so this weapon is customized but all the scripture tells you is that no weapon fashioned against you formed against you dedicated for you none of it shall prosper so this is the confidence you have you should not be disheartened because the weapon has been formed you should not be disheartened because the people are against you instead you should be encouraged because since it is formed like it was told in the scriptures you know assuredly that it shall not prosper so do not pack in your fears i hope this video is encouraging you already if it is do well to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and share it already to someone that you know this video will be a blessing to them god doesn't want you to give up on life that is why he is telling you when you start packing your life moving to anxiety and pain and you're packing there you are grieving and you want to pack in your grief you want to live your whole life grieving the loss no you have to grieve but then don't pack in your grief grief and move forward from that grief also if you want to talk about your shame if things have happened to you abuse of whatever sort molestation you don't have to pack in your shame because scripture tells you instead of shame and dishonor you will enjoy a double share of honor this is god's promise to you embrace it with all your heart philippians 4 verse 6 says also don't worry about anything instead pray about everything tell god what you need and thank him for all he has done so instead of packing in your fear in your worry pack in the promise of god and rehearse the promise of god that god said that no weapon formed against me shall prosper this is what he said and i embrace it and i i jump on it so do not pack in these negative places now the last scripture i'm going to read is hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 it says therefore since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith let us strip off every weight that slows us down especially the sin that so easily trips us up and let us run with endurance the race god has set before us 
why God is even telling you not to pack in these negative places is because there are weights that are pulling on you. There are weights that do not allow you to run the race of life properly, to run the race of life and live the life of faith like you are supposed to. Because when you are going through pain, when you are experiencing these negative things and you pack in those places, they are only going to be aimed at you paying a fine of not reaching your destiny. Because you are now grieving the loss of whatever the loss of relationship or even of a loved one. Yeah, there's a healthy place of grieving, but it shouldn't be lead you to a negative place whereby you are being led into negative actions that is now destructive to you. Maybe drinking just to become sober and all of those things or pornography just to fill up your mind because you now feel empty and it's, yeah, the grief was what started the whole thing but you were not supposed to pack in your grief i don't know why i'm speaking on grief so much but maybe someone that is watching is grieving and the grief has started bringing negative reactions to their life and god is telling you do not pack no packing keep moving keep running the race strip off remove this weight on yourself strip off this sin that so easily besets you, do not pack in your offense or in their offense. And I hope this video is a blessing to you. Let me know in the comment section which part of this video has really blessed or touched your heart. And it will be such a pleasure to see you in my other video, I am Urban. This is my YouTube channel. Subscribe, give it a like, and then share the video to someone who would be blessed by it. Bye bye.